Day. I can't, it was one of the best days of my life. Great from an adventure point of view, it was exciting, it was educational, it had, it had all the elements that you could possibly want. So um, yeah, I'd highly recommend it to anyone of any age. Our trips, we swim with dolphins and seals of course, but we also snorkel at the uh, world famous Pope's Eye Marine National Park where we're looking at large varieties of marine fish and marine life and it's a wonderful experience. Everyone can do it. It doesn't matter what shape, size or ability you've got, we have people from three-year-olds through to 86-year-olds and it's so simple and uh, our caring staff will make sure that you have a great time. I noticed on the sheet that a couple of you have never snorkeled before, that's no problem. Lucas and I will take you down the back of the boat and just teach you everything you need to know to make sure that you're snorkeling well today so that by the time we get with the seals and the dolphins, you're comfortable with your equipment and you're able to keep your head in the water. So just over there where you can see the rocks, the beautiful Australasian gannet seabirds nesting on top. Just underneath those rocks where the, the water becomes dark brown is where the reef is and that's just teeming with fish and marine life. Sometimes we see little baby stingrays here. Um, there'll be all types of fish throughout the reef. There'll be seahorses, weedy sea dragons you can spot if you're careful. Some beautiful sea biscuits and amazing um, shellfish like abalone. Lucas, I never would have tried this in my life. You saw fish and yeah. beautiful seaweed and yeah. just a beautiful sight. Yeah. Yeah. You weren't scared? No, I wasn't scared with Lucas, no. no so it was excellent. subspecies of bottlenose dolphins. They're not found anywhere else in the world. They're unique to Port Phillip Bay. They're a little bit smaller than the dolphins you'll get outside the bay. They've got slightly different colouring and the best thing about them is they're a lot more friendly than wild dolphins you'll get outside. And when we're in the right position, Robbie will be manoeuvring the boat so that we're in front of the dolphins. When we're in the right position, you'll get a signal from Lucas and I uh, to slide in and to spread out along this line. So we want to see you guys nicely spread out on both lines, just holding on with your hands above your head and your heads down in the water. People are great. Um, they're very helpful. Uh, Skipper was good, and Sally especially. She was really good. She helped everyone out a lot. So, hundred points for her. She's done well.